We're not at a gun shop, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hobby Off, which is right next to the Hard Off that we'll be going to in just a moment. I'm here in Ube in southern Yamaguchi Prefecture, and Japan has a love of toy guns that uh, I've never quite understood, and especially with these airsoft guns, there's no really distinguishing features between these and the real thing. And it is absolutely fascinating to me about how detailed and how real some of these things get. You see, there's no orange tips, there's no nothing. There's, like, look at this. Oh man, this uh, reminds me of Stargate SG-1. Um, what was this, the, yeah, the PS-90. Oh my God, it's a beautiful gun. They even have scopes, like, real, perfectly working scopes to go on these bad boys. It's absolutely crazy to me. So here we go, oh, and then so, over there, here we've got Hobby Off with figures, anime, and uh, other, you know, other toys. We've got the t toy guns. Then, oh, here we are in Hard Off. Where they even have an, an original completed box <laughs> stereo AV <wavy> cables <laughs> for, for your Famicom or your Super Famicom, even your N64. And they also have, wow, look at this, N64 memory packs for eight bucks. I've never seen them this cheap. That's actually pretty good. Sometimes these are for like 20, 30 bucks at other places, even especially on eBay. I think, I think you can find these for 20 bucks sometimes. And so many freaking Wii controllers, and I love this red, beautiful crimson red Wii, Wii remote. Let's go look over at the, at the complete systems real quick. Because for some reason, this Wii that is complete in box, it has everything. It even has the Wii Motion Plus. This is like the newer Wii. It's about $50. Well, it's $48. I guess $45. You can take the yen into account. And then this one is $80. And I cannot for the life of you tell, I cannot say why. Because it's the same box. It's got the Wii Motion Plus. It's the same version. And I can't... I cannot tell why. Because it's got... This has the EV cable. This has the EV cable and the power cable. Power cable. It's, this one's apparently got some some damage to it. I, I cannot tell you why there's a $30 difference between these two consoles. All of the markings are the same. I, I don't know what's up, folks. They've also got the beautiful red Wii that I really want to get, but it's 80 bucks, and I'm not prepared to spend 80 bucks on a Wii just yet. One of these days, perhaps. And then the beautiful midnight blue sort of properly looking N64. This is a fantastic N64. And if the Just Go one wasn't so rare, this would probably be my daily N64 driver. But, oh boy, this is actually not a bad deal for what is, I believe, a Toys R Us exclusive N64. Oh boy, oh doggy. And then, oh, there's 20 bucks for a Sega Saturn. Wish you could, wish you could find this in America, folks. It's got everything. It doesn't have a controller, though. That's the only problem. It's got the cables and who we've got. A Super Famicom going for 15, but with with a mono cable. That's right, folks. The Nintendo made mono cables. That's insane. Okay. And there's some knockoffs. You'll find these knockoff consoles in Hard Rock every once in a while. Then let's keep moving. Let's go. You know, let's go to the games. Let's go to the normal game set. Where they've got a, uh, after going after being in the last Har Yamaguchi hard off, a bit of a disappointing uh, GameCube selection, and they're 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 kind of their non junk games are fine. They're adequate. I mean, they've got Legend of Zelda for eight bucks, Paper Mario for five dollars. This is insane. I remember when I first came to Japan, I bought this for twenty dollars, and I've regretted it ever since. Not that I regret buying Mario Party or Super Mario. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, Paper Mario, that's what they called it. They call it Mario Story here, obviously. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the name. Let's see, what else have they got? We've got, five, we've got Resident Evil Zero. We've got Sonic Heroes. We've got Eternal Darkness. We've got Pod Racing. This is, you know, I just played the PC version of Pod Racing, and I thought it was really good. And the N64 version I spent a lot of time in when I was a kid, so much so that when I picked it up recently, and I realized that I kind of suck at it. It, uh, I, I got pretty good at pod racing. I, I, you know, not to toot my own pod racing horn. I was pretty good at pod racing. But that's when, you know, that's when I could afford about one game every few months if I was lucky. 
Anything, anything good? Well, these N64 games are only like three bucks a piece. Like Bomberman Hero, isn't that like a $60 game in America? It's the second Bomberman, I think. Like, look at this. Smash Brothers for $8? That's crazy. That's insane. And we got Bonkers for a thousand yen. That's $10. Also, we got anything good? Oh, Kinikuman. The dirty, <laughs> the dirty challenger. All right, that sounds appropriate for me. I should probably pick that up. Then we got a couple of Sailor Moon S. Interesting. All right, and we got a Tsuri, Tsuri Taro. It's a lot of a lot of fishing games that I don't understand. I don't understand fishing in real life, and I certainly don't understand fishing in video games. Did I miss anything? Oh, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Mario Kart, ten bucks, complete in box. Then Mario Party Two. This is like what? Easily hundred bucks plus in America for the box. Five dollars. That's actually good. That's pretty good. I also got Sakura Tyson Two for one dollar. Wow. That's good. That's good. We got a couple of a bunch of junk games. Jet Set Radio. How much is it going for? Eight bucks. Oh, is this the? This might be the, I can't tell, this might be the remake that they made for the Dreamcast, or like the international version. I need to double check my copy. I can't remember what the, uh, what the outer case is supposed to look like. But let's move over to what is kind of the junk in normal showcase. We've got this beautiful pink PS2 going for $70. That's great, that's fantastic. Looks a bit more glossy. Yeah, if you kind of, kind of tell, maybe the PlayStation itself looks much more glossy than you would expect. Because usually the, it's got a rough finish to it with the black one. And then we have an immaculate, almost looks like it's never been touched, AV Famicom going for $100. It's not bad. I've definitely seen it go, I've seen worse looking consoles go for more elsewhere, but it looks like someone just bought this and didn't even play it. And then we've got a very tempting Model 2 Mega Drive going for 50 bucks which I need to pick up because I have a Model 1 and it only outputs mono. The Model 2 Mega Drive, however, outputs. Let's see if you can see it from the side. It only, it, this model outputs stereo, Model 1 only outputs mono from, from its AV cable. Oddly enough, it has a stereo jack in the Model 1 that you output stereo, which, like what? <laughs> I don't get it. Anything else? House of the Dead. Anything else that's good? Got some cool, oh, here's, here's some cool Dreamcast games. There's Mr. Driller for five bucks. Capcom vs. SMK for 10 bucks. And then we just saw Shenmue 2 at another store for like 50 bucks. But here it is, Obi included, going for $25, half the price. That's why it all, the thing you want is always cheaper somewhere, somewhere else. That's what I always say. And here we've got um, Chaos, Chaos Field, going for $10. Is that rare? <laughs> I need to learn more, more about GameCube games. Then, wow, a complete copy of Super Mario Brothers 3 in really good condition, going for $10. This, this hard off, it's been a couple years since I've been here, but I remember it having good prices back in the day, and it still has some good prices. It doesn't quite have the selection that it used to, but it's still got some really good games. Like, look at that, Mega Man 2, going for $10. We've got, whoa, Turtles in Time for $25? That's insane. Normally, that's a that's a fifty dollar game, even if you're lucky, and that's in excellent condition. So we've got Rockman Three going for fifteen dollars. That's what a three hundred dollar game loose in America, two hundred dollars. Oh, look at these are in fantastic condition. The games in this showcase, all these Super Famicom games. Normally, you'd expect to see the thing about that Contra and even the Turtles in Time. Maybe it was just the shells that Konami used or something, but normally the back half of these shells will go like a weird yellow and that I can't tell oh, 20 bucks for Contra 3 that's okay I mean, maybe if it was 10 bucks it'd be worth getting but these are some great games in great condition wow and then here wow Rockman Rock Man and Forte $25 that's real good that's pretty good and then if you look in the background there's Mega Man X2 going for $10 that's that's insane in great condition. Anything else exceedingly good? Some Fire Emblem game, a Fire Emblem game, a bunch of Rockman Exe games. Okay, I think. All right, that's the game showcase. Here's some 
Here's some PSPs, about 30, 30 and 40 bucks a pop. It looks like a lot of them do have come with their cables though, so that's good. Interesting. So here's one that just says for, it's for parts. So I'm guessing that means it doesn't it doesn't work. Because normally, see like if you see over here this three thousand dollar three thousand dollars this three thousand yen model, it says it can play games. It has its power adapter. This, however, just says you can use it for parts, and that's why it's a thousand yen or ten dollars. So let's move. Oh, we you junk? Hold on. Let's see. It plays games. Um, the cables have some damage to them. And, but it, and it does not have an HDMI cable or a touch pen. And that's why it's going for 70 bucks. Wow, I should probably pick up some Wii U stuff now because I bet you anything, that stuff's gonna be valuable and now's the time to buy. Just like this might be the time to buy a, pre, like, uh, okay, it's not pristine, but this is a very good looking, great condition original Famicom. Circle buttons, if it was square buttons, it would be an immediate buy. Oh wow, 10 bucks for this, that's real good. That's real good. This is a fantastically organized and well-priced junk section. Like, look at all of those N64s. I, a game I used to play when I came to these hard-offs. So hopefully you can tell, I would open up, open up and try and find those expansion packs. And that's, I think, probably where you found those, remember those expansion packs we just saw for eight bucks? They probably got pulled out of these machines. I actually, I actually, before the video, I went through and uh, looked to see if I could find any. I did not find any, unfortunately. Because these are, so what would happen is, you buy this for three bucks, it would have an expansion pack inside it that you could maybe find for 15 bucks if you were lucky. But I guess the price, the price on a lot of N64 stuff is kind of collapsed. And look at all those game cubes. Like these orange game cubes, oh, if only I could get them working, it would be so beautiful they'd be so valuable like you can pick these up for three dollars the only problem with a lot of these is that like the the button here sticks so you kind of you'll try and close it oh, it's actually not bad though huh okay interesting interesting uh, maybe maybe, uh, maybe i'll take a chance and pick one up Let's see what we got here we're looking at famicom well yeah lots of uh what is this hadi kiri stadium I don't know, never seen this, never seen this. But there's like a lot of copies of it. <laughs> Lots of sports games, we've, we've got one, two, three, four, five copies of golf. <laughs> this also has some of the cheapest uh, AV cables I've seen. A lot of these original Nintendo AV ca cables are starting to go for like eight, ten dollars now. But here we've got one for five. These original cables are, I guess, sought after for some reason. And, well, I know for one because I didn't get one on my GameCube, so. I gotta pick one up one of these days. Look at these PlayStations. So many PlayStations. Anything else about Guitar Hero? Oh, more PlayStations. Hold on, we can get Legends of Rock. How much is Legends of Rock? We can get it with a complete set for $10. And then if you also wanted a Zig Zig Up Pain, Apache uh, Slot Machine. Get it right here for thirty dollars. Wow! You don't you don't see patches slot machines. I've only ever seen them in Yamaguchi. So wow, here we've got wow some old ones, some super old ones. It's kind of hard to tell with the light. I'm sorry about that. There, maybe you can see it. My dad has one from like the '70s. I want to say in the basement. I don't think we ever got it working. And here, oh, what have we got? We also got some Donkey Donkey Kang. Donkey Kong doesn't even have it doesn't have the software, but you can get this box. Get the Kongs. Get the Congos for five dollars. What else are we looking at? Oh uh, yeah, I thought we could maybe do maybe do it's nice sturdy sturdy case. We got Mario Party 2, one dollar. Pokemon Stadium. Now this Pokemon Stadium 2 is actually to us in America. Or me in America. I don't know who where you're watching this from. But this would be Pokemon Stadium 1 in America. They actually came out with the original Pokemon Stadium, but I think it was lacking some features that would later come out in Pokemon Stadium 2. Also got Yoshi's Story for a dollar. Wow, this is, man, this is uh, the N64's greatest hits right here. There we've got Diddy Kong Racing going for two whole dollars. We can go, oh, let's see, this Tamagotchi game that never came out in America, that's a dollar. A bunch of those, Pokemon Stadium. These, these tend to be Pokemon Stadium graveyards because it's 
sold so well. Like, look at this Pokemon Stadium 2 or Gold and Silver. There's just lots of sports games and Pokemon Stadium. Look at that. Like, how many? We've, I think we've hit like at least 10 Pokemon Stadiums so far. There's, hey, you Pikachu. Wow. And I think, did I see Turok somewhere? I might have hallucinated that. I thought I saw Turok somewhere. Here we've got a Hudson released N60. Uh, 50, wow, 50 cents. Not even worth a dollar. Power League 64. A Hudson baseball game. Okay, so that's N64. Let's take a saunter over to the Super Famicom. Let's see what we can pull. Here we've got Star Fox for 100 yen. What else can we pull? Anything good? Oftentimes you'll find Final Fantasy games in here. Maybe oh, lots of sports games. It's really hard to tell. Mm. Hope you can see these. Hope this is <laughs> hope this is interesting to someone out there. Well, then yeah, lots of sports games. I guess because collecting for the Super Famicom is the current hotness. I think people probably pulled everything that's not sports out of here. Sometimes you'll find Final Fantasy. If you're lucky, maybe even Street Fighter. Fishing, horse racing. Um, that's a baseball game. Horse, horse, it's baseball, baseball, baseball. <laughs> okay, what controllers can we find? Wow, okay, not bad. This, oh, this lovely red N64 controller. Seems to work. Shouldn't have any problems. How much does this set you back? This will set you back. Wow, three bucks? Three bucks for a good N64 controller? Doesn't seem to have any problems. Yeah, looks, looks good to me. And, uh, Huh, okay, doesn't seem anything wrong there. Okay. These, these work, they're just dirty, you might want to wipe them off. This is how much is this SNES controller going for? Three dollars. And I always like, I like these colors more. Much more, much more rainbow than the, uh, super, than the Super Nintendo. And here we've got, oh, this GameCube controller, so, oh, so sad. And this one, oh, this probably works, just got a, just got a weird top. So yeah, let's see, maybe you can see him, there you go. Oh, lots of Wii stands. Oh dear. Anything else? Oh, a Game Boy Color. What are you doing in here? It's a Game Boy Color. Apparently there was a problem with the battery compartment and it's going for 1,000 yen. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Anything else in here? Lots of just... Lots of just crap. Hmm. Oh, what's this? I don't recognize this. Just a, oh, it looks like a... It's a Game Boy, game, you know, Game Boy Advance Link Cable, perhaps? Going for three bucks. Then here we got, oh, if you want to, if you want to make a complete GameCube, I guess you're going to have to pick up something out of here, because we got the GameCube power adapters. Going for three bucks. Could you use this in America? Something you always want to check and make sure is that you got your correct voltage note, because your input here is 100 volts in America. It's 120, I want to say. So be careful when you're hooking up your Japanese GameCube to the American power grid. And then, oh, hold on. Is that a Wonder Swan I see? Oh, look. It's an original Wonder Swan going for $5. Make sure there's always a difference. There's the Wonder Swan, and then there's the Wonder Swan crystal or color. Am I, am I hallucinating that difference? Then, well, here we go. Original Famicom. Uh, is your power box that you can use with the Super Famicom and the uh, original Famicom. It's going for five dollars. Those seem to be a bit more common the EV cables and then the DS graveyard. Wow look at this five bucks. Remember when this I remember when this used to cost like 150 bucks. Here we got black DSI. I think I got this for my birthday once uh, about 10 years ago. That's probably yeah it's probably like 100, 120 bucks at the time. Now it's just five dollars. Well it just says it's for parts. That's suspicious. Be careful with this stuff. Be careful with the junk. The junk stuff is not guaranteed. Like, look, this is, wow, this is pretty big. Three bucks for this body? Fascinating. Super fascinating. Anything else we got? Um, hmm. Got some stuff. Just, yeah, there's a Saturn cable. Here we got some, oh, here's the, uh, that Konami guitar game before Guitar Hero came out. Thing up. Here's some more congas. There's your donkey congas. We've got some wild junk PS3 controllers. I'm getting old, folks. And then, anything else? What can we end on? 
All right, let's let's believe in the heart of the cards. So here we've got Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, dual dual monsters for the Game Boy going for 100 yen, one dollar for this Yu-Gi-Oh game. Let's end it here. I've been your man in Japan, Jay Contra, coming to you from the heart off in Ube in Yamaguchi Prefecture, saying thanks for watching. See you next time and mahalo.